I don't know what my, whatever someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm just here to say that I've never seen my man doing anything foul like they talking about. None of it. All of it. I, I mean, I, you know. I, I've never seen it. I've known him for 29 years. And then it's like with guys like, like 50, you know what I'm saying? Like Uncle Tom cast like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you now you want to put me... I don't know if y'all saw the post where 50 posted about me. Of course you guys seen yeah, it. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, 50 has um, been going after Diddy and everybody associated with him for months now, ever since the Cassie lawsuit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can't brush under the rug. I, I don't see anybody um, um, reporting about what um, tatted up Holly said about him beating her up and about, you know what I'm saying, his other baby mom saying beating her up. I just look at it as, you know, he wants to bring the black community down worse than than anyone else. How How is that so? I said what I said in my post, and I'm standing on that too. Now, since he didn't accept what my offer to him, and he want to continue to be a comedian, why don't you go make some movies with Michael Blackson and don't talk about me? Okay. If you don't want to fight, if you don't want to donate to charity, donate the bread to charity and fight, don't, don't stop being a girl and talking about dudes. I find it funny that you know, when they first cru try to crucify somebody, they go through the media first. And they're just flooded with lies and propaganda. I'm not concerned about this n Curtis. I mean, this dude Curtis. You know what I'm saying? He's Uncle Tom, and that's just what it is. I'm going to speak on a thousand percent of what I know to be true about my guy. I want you to fade, nigga. <laughs> this is entertainment. Let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Bitch! What happened? Get up, get up. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Steven can go to hell. I'm going to beat your ass. So unfortunately, Stevie J is not taking the high road. He does not want to be quiet in these tumultuous times that his friend Diddy is going through. So what does Stevie J do? Not only does he call 50 Cent out to a boxing match, which 50 Cent responded to in a funny matter saying, why would I fight you when I can get your girl to beat you up, your ex-girl Jocelyn. Oh wait, no, her name isn't Jocelyn no more. She goes by Coquilene. Anyways, he was like, yeah, I can get your girl to beat you up. Why the fuck would I I even want to fight you now it would be for a good cause 50 cent and i would love to see it happen <laughs> yeah i mean i think the whole world would love to see tvj and you in a boxing match and it'll be for charity so i think you should consider it in my humble opinion but that's neither here nor there stevie j he decided to do an interview with tmz and basically defend diddy basically say he's known him for 29 years he's a good guy he doesn't deserve what's happening to him and all this fucking bullshit and my thing is, look, Stevie J, Diddy could be innocent, he could be guilty. We don't know yet. We're still trying to figure out what the feds were looking for. We just know they pulled up with fucking tanks. They closed off Star Island and whatever they were looking for, hopefully they found. And hopefully whatever they found isn't going to incriminate your friend Diddy. But, but Stevie J, you're doing what you shouldn't be doing, which is talking. If you're going to choose to not talk, then don't talk. If you're going to talk, address the fucking allegations, niggas. They are saying that you were fucking trafficking men, not women, men, for this nigga Diddy. And now you want to come on TMZ and defend him, hang with him in fucking Miami, do all this stupid ass shit, be seen in public with him, and you that shouldn't be happening right now. Stevie J, your name could be called up on the witness stand to testify against Diddy at some point. The feds could want to investigate you and talk to you, get you to turn and say, hey, if you don't turn, we know you were trafficking man for this nigga. Yeah, Lil Rod, everything he said in that lawsuit was true. Now, we don't know if that was true or not, but I'm saying the feds could find out that it was true, and now you'd be fucked. You look like you're his right-hand man now. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get why Stevie J is, is deciding to talk. Now, responding to 50 Cent and his foolishness, that's cool. I'm not mad at that. Being spotted out with Diddy, that's a little shady. I don't think you want to be seen with that man right now, especially with the allegations that are being thrown towards you guys. But doing an interview with TMZ, defending Diddy, saying you've known him for 29 years, and people like 50 Cent shouldn't be trying 
trying to bring down the black community. Like you're not addressing or talking about anything that's in the lawsuit, anything that's happening as far as the raids are going right now. You're just gaslighting. That's all you're doing. You're avoiding the subject entirely and trying to make us think about something else. Instead, we're all trying to still figure out whether you were trafficking men for Diddy. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this whole interview that Stevie J just decided to do with TMZ. Should he be staying quiet right now or him defending Diddy? Should he be defending Diddy? Cause that's his friend, that's his brother that he's known for 29 years. And hopefully they weren't doing no nasty shit together. We shall see. Anyways, I am Savvy Mike and this, I am Savvy Mike TV. Peace.